What we're going to need to do a lot is work hard. I mean, I know it's going to be tough for us, from, especially from last year, but we're going we're gonna to need to push a lot this year if we want to be good. Last season is a year the King City Wildcats eight-man football team wants to forget. A 3-8 and eight season and a second-round playoff defeat. King City does have most of its starters back this year, though, and has around 32 kids overall. Solid numbers for an eight-man team. The Wildcats' strong group of upperclassmen now look to lead and figure out a way to turn things around. I know us big guys make mistakes too, but they gotta also learn from that too. Keep going. I know it sucks, but yeah, you gotta keep going all. No matter what the situation is, you gotta be tough. Football is a hard sport. We kind of learned that we didn't really have a lot of leaders, so this year we've kind of tried to step up, a bunch of us have, and be a little more vocal, keep everybody in on the straight and narrow. King City may have only won three games last season, but longtime head coach Micah Breckenridge became the all-time winningest coach in the history of the school. Definitely an honor. Stan Petty, great football coach, um, had that record um, before I did, and you know I, I remember I helped, you know, I, di I didn't get to play for him, but I helped uh, as a manager when I was in school here, so it was just a, a big honor. Um, I think it's more of a longevity award, um, but you know, just an honor to be here, an honor to, to have that award. He is awesome. We'd, we'd be nowhere without him. Like, you don't see it a lot because you don't really watch what's happening on the sideline. You're just watching what's on the field, but I mean, he is just a genius back there. The lessons from last season have taught this team to tough it out, embrace the grind, embrace the long days of practice because that allows you to grow as a unit. Last year we had a lot of giving up in tough situations, but we've kind of really bonded because we've all been at workouts, we've all been struggling, you know, but we're struggling together. So it's really built that bond of togetherness and it's let us take big steps.